Hello, young man. Come here. You were running the camera, is that right? I looked at you a little while ago, and the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. He said, Elisha walked behind Elijah. And Elijah said to him, what do you want? And Elijah said, I want a double portion of your spirit. And Elijah said, you've asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me, you'll have it. The Lord said, you've been watching through that camera. You've been watching the move of the Spirit. But more than that, you've been watching the move of the Spirit in that man. And the Lord said, if you'll stay faithful and keep your eyes on him and him, everything that God's given him, God will give you. If you will watch and pray and watch and pray. Watch how he prophesies. Watch how he, wa how, how he makes announcement, announcements. Watch how he conducts and selects the music. Watch how he prays for the sick. Watch how he operates in the word of knowledge. Watch him. Because you're a called man. The Lord found you getting ready to do a very stupid, dramatic thing. You were making your plans. And the Lord reached and took you and took you off of that detour. And he gave you a new identity. He took away that demonic identity. And he gave you a new name. You know what name he gave you? Jesus. Jesus, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Jesus is your identity. You already have that. That's already your quest. But the Lord told me, now I'll advertise you of things that are to come. For behold, says the Lord, the gulf, and the separation between family and you will grow wider. For I'm separating you, says the Lord. And even as I've taken you from it, I'm going to take it from you. Until the only thing left is you and me. And then, says the Lord, I will put you back in. And there will be a grand well of salvation opened up in your Father's house. And those who called you friend and idiot will call you son and brother and one day they will call you pastor. Reach out your hand to him. of the Lord is now going to unite your heart for there were two hearts in you and now your heart will beat with one beat and you'll no longer be divided and you'll no longer walk in two opinions you understand I told you he talks in code Father, I thank you. You said, buy from you, Isaac. I thank you.
thank you for prophetic eyes to see. Open his eyes, Lord. To see. There's a transition now financially. The Lord will require a work ethic that will push you to the limit. But the Lord in this process of working a new work ethic in you is going to even out some of your extremes. Because you have the appearance of being kind of moderate, but you're an extremist. You just know how how not to show it at the wrong time. You only show it when you're safe. Now the Lord is going to teach you the management. Because even as he is an evangelist prophet, no, a prophet, evangelist prophet, evangelist is first. As, and you love that. Yet at the same time, you go like him. Because he's an evangelist prophet, you're a prophet evangelist. You are the mirror image. You're exactly the same, but opposite. When I was a kid, my hero was Superman. And there was always this one character. His name was Bizarro. He loved Superman. He tried to imitate Superman. And if Superman jumped up and flew forwards, Bizarro would jump up and fly backwards. But his heart was right. He wanted I heard the Lord say, you'll grow out of who you are. Keep jumping up. Imitate me. Because even when you do it opposite, you meant to do it exactly. You're learning how not to do it. Some people learn by learning how to do it. Other people learn by learning how not to do it. And you're the combination of the two. It's only a stage. Don't grow weary. It's just a season. I lay my hands on you and I Call for the wind of the Lord to blow upon you. To blow upon you. voice of the Lord will come to you from every direction. And you will be in a stage of going, but which one is Lord? It's the voice of the Lord is being activated in you. You're just going to hear it and not be able to turn it off. And you'll hear it go forward and you'll hear it go backward. You'll hear it go to the left. You'll hear it go to the right. The issue is he's teaching you the sound of his voice. The sound. The sound.
And then you will learn how to distinguish the seasons. Because in one season you'll go forward, in another season you'll go back. In another season you'll go this way, in another season you'll go that way. But in the season you're in, you're just hearing his voice, hearing his voice, hearing his voice. Keep watching. Don't grow weary. And by the word of the Lord, I curse the unclean thing that would come to distract him into a relationship that would take him from the emphasis of the season, the emphasis of the call. Say this with me. All for the call. Now scream. You screamed the dogs louder than that. Okay. All oh, for the car! Amen. Amen. you receive that? You're a man of God. I didn't say you're going to be. You know, I know Dan for when you were, what, 15 years old, 16? I was having a revival in upstate New York in a Catholic church. He was sitting up on the balcony with his brother. You were how old were you then? 18, okay. And I look up on the balcony and I prophesy. What was the thing that I said? I so you told me there was something about God is going to use you. And, and it was in that service that his life was marked. Then when I was in New York having a revival for seven months, the one I shared with you earlier, he would always come around, drive me around, and I told him, God's calling you to work alongside me. Just let's go to Florida. He let go of everything, moved to Florida to pursue ministry that I said is on your future. And just about, I know the code because I know you well. Was he 100% accurate or what? Amen. And he just got married. And he looks conservative, like the prophet said. But I just heard from somebody that heard from the wife that in the house he goes, I want everything this way, got to be clean like this. And I go, where in the world did you get that from? And that's the stuff that he just saw in you. Because he says, I want things certain way. And I, and I told the wife, just smack him when he says something. You know, but it is so amazing to hear that word because I know your life very well. He let go of his family to follow the, the call of God here in Florida. And when I was single, he lived on my carpet on the corner of the living room. And he paid the price. And I keep telling you, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. And here's the word that God is confirming that you're not here just to work a job. But there's your destiny here in Jesus' name. Amen. Can somebody say amen to that?